We've touched on a few of the elementary things, but we haven't said anything about base running, which is a very important part of good ball playing. You become a base runner immediately after you have hit the ball. You can be a good base runner and very essential to your ball club without being a base stealer. Some of the best base runners in baseball today are not good base stealers. A good base runner is a fellow that, upon hitting the ball, no matter where he hits it, runs hard all the way to first base. By doing this, he takes advantage of any miscue the opposition may make, no matter how small it may be. He might make the infielder hurry his throw, which could cause a bad throw, which would make him safe. Upon reaching first base, the runner should know and study the moves of the pitcher. He should know his signs. He should know the opposition's outfielder's arms, which ones can throw hard, which ones don't throw so well. He should know where they're going to play the next hitter. He should stay on the bag until he has all of this in his mind. By doing this, he might be able to take that one extra base that might win the game. When a runner takes his lead off the base, I think it is best that he distribute his weight on both feet so that he can move in either direction very quickly after he has his lead. The runner should make his break just as the ball leaves the pitcher's hand and in such a manner that he can get back to the bag if the ball is not hit or go if it is hit. When rounding the bases, it is always best when possible to tag the bag on the inside corner with the left foot. Remembering always that the fastest way to get to the next bag is the shortest distance, which means you should not make a large circle around a bag. When a runner reaches second base, he should pick up his third base coach, and he should remember that he is now in a good scoring position if there is a base hit. He should be very alert, as he should be on all bases. He should be ready to break the minute the ball is hit to the outfield. Or if the ball is hit on the ground to the right side of the field, he should be able to reach third. When he reaches third base, he is in a position to score a run, which is what we're all after. He should listen to his coach. If the coach says he should go on a ground ball, he should have a good lead and be moving toward the plate when the ball is hit. If the ball is hit in the air, he should hustle back to third so that he can score after the catch. In general, good, alert base runners are a big part of baseball. A base stealer is usually a good base runner, although not always. He is a man who has fast reflexes makes a study of the pitchers, knows their moves, watches their feet and arms, and methods of picking men off. He should be a good slider. Most good base stealers can slide with their right foot or their left foot hooking the bag. 